Eddie, do you agree with LeBron? Yeah, I agree with him. It's, it sounds good in theory. Mm -hmm. It's like I went, I went snowboarding. A couple few weeks back, it sounded good when you I was. You went snowboarding. Yeah, yeah, it sounded good you're, when I was. You're from Phoenix. I know, but you could go to Flagstaff. So we drove to Flagstaff, so <laughs> and it sounds good, right? Driving up there, like, oh, we about to have fun. I spent more time on the ground, almost broke my ankle. So in theory, it sounded good until I went out there <laughs> yeah. and actually got whooped by that mountain. So oh. it's the same thing, you know what I mean? It, it sounds good, but you got to stay with what it is. Everybody loves to see the East versus the West, you know. That coming down to the finals, it's the best of the East and the best of the West. Yeah. It, it's like the travel would be crazy. What if you have a team, the Lakers play New York in the first round? What about that travel? That's just a lot of miles they got to rack play up. in Miami. Yeah, it, it doesn't make sense. Mm. It doesn't make sense. If it's not broke, I don't think you should, <laughs> it, it, shouldn't, it shouldn't be fixed. And like we played in the Western Conference Finals, we were picked to finish last but we finished first. And it's always been like this in the where league. Was, where was in that? Phoenix. In Phoenix. Phoenix. And it's always been like this to where one conference is better than the other. It's never been parity throughout the NBA. Since 2006, and that's what I was referencing to, the West has been the best conference in the NBA. The East, when has the East really been competing? I mean, can you tell me the last time the East was the dominant conference in the NBA? It's been like this forever, and that's what everybody mm. is getting tired of seeing – Cleveland and Golden State, they want to mix it up, but just leave it alone. Leave mm. it alone. Mm. You know, what, I, what I have a hard time with is, mm. is that when LeBron is doing it, it's a cakewalk. If he doesn't make it, he chokes. Now, let's go back to the Bulls. The Bulls won six championships. Do you know in the first round, they swept every single round. In the first round matches, they swept it. In the second round, they lost a total of seven games. In one year, they went, they lost three to the Knicks. Just the Bulls? Oh, oh I'm, just, I'm, I'm just saying this, Michael Jones. And they went to the oh, and one game and two and one game seven skip hmm. in the Eastern Conference Finals mm -hmm. against the Indiana Pacers. Mm -hmm. Now LeBron, it was a hellacious. I was there, man. Now LeBron, it, it was a mountain to climb. That, now LeBron <laughs> has Eastern Conference Finals game seven mm -hmm. against Chicago, uh, not Chicago, against Boston mm -hmm. and Indiana. He did. Yeah. That was a shame it went to seven against Indiana. It, it, against George we, Paul's team. But it's all, but it's all, Skip, it's always been, if you go back to the 60s, it was the Celtics. You go back to the 70s, you know, 70s, you had a little, the Knicks snuck in there a couple of times, but it's been the Celtics and the Lakers. Then you go to the 80s. Who was it, Skip? Magic Johnson went to the finals, NBA finals, nine times in 12, 12 years. Ain't nobody say nothing. From 80 to 87. Two teams represented the, uh, the West. The Heat, not the Heat, excuse me, the Rockets and the Lakers. In the East, it was the Sixers and the Celtics. Now, all of a sudden, O'Bron going to all these finals in a row. We got to put up some stumbling blocks. Mm. But don't worry about it, Skip. Mm. Don't worry about it. That old guy from Akron, mm -hmm. he jump over them stumbling blocks. Mm. Do what you need to do. Mm. Try to make it as, more, as difficult as you possibly can. But sometimes you can make your destiny on the very road you mm, took to a board. I've heard that before. So guess what? You try to take down LeBron, put him against the Warriors if you want to, mm. and then now nah, they don't be in the finals. How that going to look on your ratings, <laughs> kid? <Yeah. sighs> so I'm figuring that old Bron on Monday put in a little call to the commish and said. We talked to him Sunday night. He was out on the court giving us that MVP trophy. Yeah. You talked to him? You and Bron? Ah, give out when he met the game. Yeah, I was. Come in, she says, uh, nope, nope, nope. You are not going to take my cakewalk away from Stop me. Stop it. Because LeBron James, especially when it's this all this run started, going back to 2011, when he took his talents to South Beach and joined forces with Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh and Pat Riley in Miami, it has been cakewalk after cakewalk after eight straight cakewalks all the way to the NBA Finals. And each time, LeBron James also benefited from the fact that it was murder's row in the West. Battle Royals, back and forth, where all wh whoever survived the, the Western Conference playoff path got beat up, got worn out mentally, and was not quite itself by the time it got to LeBron. So he's achieved eight straight finals that I'm giving him this year. And if he stays in Cleveland, which we now suspect that he will, it'll probably be 10 straight finals. And that's what he's going to have to use as his claim to fame against the real GOAT, Michael Jeffrey Jordan. Because that's all he's going to have is, 
I went to 10 straight finals. Now, his record is probably going to be three and eight in the finals. Five and five at five worst. Five and five at worst. So, so you're predicting it. I, you're on record that this year's new look Cavaliers are going to beat the Golden State Warriors, right? You're on record. We, we're going to oh, <laughs> cross that bridge. We're going to cross that bridge, even though it's on fire. Can I ask you a question, Skip? <laughs> it, I'm, the, I'm, the West is loaded. Can you tell me how many games the Warriors lost in the playoffs last year? In that loaded Western Conference. Yep. Well, can I show you what's happened in the West over the last eight years? They lost zero. But look, you can't. But it, it is what it is. The West and the East, we know that it's two different things. Mm-hmm. You're going to beat up on each other in the West, but it, it doesn't matter. It, it, you can't blame somebody for the path that they're taking. As long as you beat who's ever in front but, of you, but let's you just, yeah, that's all you got to okay, do. I know, but you got to cut to the chase of why LeBron is saying, hold the phone here. I don't want reseed. I, I want... Cakewalk. Well, look, so you want to see like a, a Houston Golden State Finals? Well, that could be a conference final. If they're good enough to get to the final in a in a field of six, Adam Silver trying to play they matchmaker. Should be, they should be good enough to get to the like conference Like Tom Brady. Final, right? Tom mm-hmm. Brady had this cakewalk. Mm-hmm. Cakewalk in the AFC. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, really? Put him in the NFC. Let him have the battle to all those teams, the know, Eagles and the Bikes. We're talking about reseeding in the NBA right now, and you have to change the subject because you're losing this argument I'm not losing it. again. So you tried to t- take down LeBron, in, and it ain't gonna happen. LeBron's path over the last eight seasons, seven really, but because we're we're giving him the eighth, but seven years with eight sweeps and only two seven-game series, that's a cakewalk. Because I'm looking at lots of Phillies and Detroits and New York business. Knicks and Skip. Charlotte Bobcats. Michael Jordan, I call, Michael I Jordan has six business. sweeps. I would call that taking care of business. Hmm? Sweeps, excuse me. Michael Jordan has six sweeps. Eddie House. Tougher conference over the last eight years. East West or West? West. No okay, doubt. so West. that's all I need. Case okay, okay, closed. But what can Case you closed. do if you in the East? Eddie. Okay. Eddie. What, are you going to knock them for getting to the finals? Oh, because like, oh, it was easier yeah. for you to, It's hard to You're talking about the last eight years. They've been playing basketball for 70 years. Mm. Well, it's just been an, a long drought in the East. And LeBron James has benefited enormously from it. And to start benefiting, he had to take his talents to South Beach. That's when it all started. But when they won, when they won 66 games and got beat by the uh, uh, the Orlando Magic, nobody talked about no reseeding because everybody wanted to see Kobe and LeBron because they came out with a campaign, the Muppets. Remember, they were talking, oh, Kobe, man. Ron, you like my rings? Nobody had a problem with that when he got knocked off. Mm-hmm. Now, he putting foots on everybody in the East. Mm-hmm. Oh, Skip, baby. See, Skip don't want him to do it because it's going to happen. I don't see, care. I'm just telling want, you the truth. No, this is what's what happening. You know, what he doesn't want to happen, Eddie, he doesn't want Bron to be the all-time leading scorer, be top five in assists, having five rings with ten straight care. finals because guess where he going to be on my rush mode, Joe? Oh, stop. To the right. What did you say yesterday? Silly? Yes, like, stop just stop it. the silliness? Stop Eddie, don't so, it, Eddie. meanwhile, stop. over the last seven years in the Western Conference, look at the murderer's row that we've had. The Warriors have risen. The Thunder had, obviously, Durant and, at one point, James Harden. The Spurs have been Rob Spurs all the way them. through. There's been the end of Kobe's Lakers. There's been the Rockets rise. There's been the Mavericks winning it all in 2011. Yeah. Two Grizzlies teams have won 55-plus games, and two Trailblazers teams have won 50-plus games. Games. That's murderer's row. You don't have that in the East. You've got the Indiana Pacers of George Paul. I mean, they're they're not that good. They're no threat. Oh, so so do you actually think Portland was a threat to the Warriors? No, but they're better than Indiana That's was. Right, but you can't knock whoever's in front of you. Beat them. You can't knock that. It, okay, you, I'm you not can't knocking it. I'm that. just so, saying like this the is the thing. Better, but if yeah, I'm that is a, the thing. We know that's the thing. But you cannot knock somebody for taking care of their business. That's but, it. But the period. point is, LeBron is saying. Don't recede because you're going to take my path no, away. No, he's, Dude, that's not what he he's saying. He's saying the history of the game. He understands the all-star game. I mean, game. I know he's saying the that. history of the game. That but sounds no, that's good, but truth, I know though. what he's thinking. That's the truth. He's thinking, don't take my cakewalk from me. Don't, it's so, a cakewalk. So, so it wasn't a cakewalk. That's all he's going to have. His claim to fame, when it's all over, he's going to say, I went to 10 straight but when, NBA but, finals. But, but let me Am I right? But when, he, but when he loses, why is it that when he wins, it's a cakewalk, he loses, he chokes? I didn't say that. Yes, you did. You said against, oh, he had the all-time meltdown. Well, he did. Oh, see, there you go. There you can see. Well, was it not the all-time superstar meltdown we've ever seen? Dan Gilbert Gilbert said he quit. He did. Yeah. But that was back in the Cleveland days. I've even brought those up. No, no, no. no. Huh? Put put some. I'm not saying those were cakewalk days. Stepping on. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. And be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.